Hello, welcome to my review of the Yami Mia. This is what you get in the box. It's a very Apple-like looking product, isn't it? Um, hence the title of the video. If Apple made a, a walkie-talkie, I think this would be it. It's a really nicely made little unit, as you can see there. It's a nice feel to it. It certainly feels like a premium product. You can see in the bottom the headphone jack, the um, charger port there, micro port, and then that's for a, a lanyard to connect to a wrist strap. Uh, male SMA connector in the top and there's just a volume on off knob there on the top there and uh, it comes up with this little logo and then unfortunately the menus and all the settings are in Chinese <clears throat> which is a bit of, a, of an issue obviously um, now there's a couple of ways that I thought I could counteract this problem because I knew this when I ordered it I knew it was going to be a Chinese uh, menu Hiding in the base of the packet there's also a, a dual band antenna which seems to work relatively fairly well uh, and uh, that's uh, obviously the female SMA side and then there's also a, a flat form micro USB cable and uh, it's a nicely, nicely, really nicely put together. The instruction manual of course is in Chinese. Um, I did have a little pop at using the translate application on my OnePlus 5T and just wave that over the text. Um, it kind of worked, um, but really you can just play around. Well, you'll see a little bit later how I get over this Chinese problem anyway. But I also used the translator holding it over the screen of the radio just to give me a rough idea. And um, I did a little bit of research in anyway and found a, a something else to use to translate away from Chinese because it was pretty tricky doing it like this, although it does kind of work. As you can see, it's a little bit strange. Oh, it's just Quick example of the radio. Actually, not a bad, not a bad radio. Anthems, right? That's the classics done and dusted for another week. Now it is time for me to bring you into the realm of the current anthems, and I can reveal. Right I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost in chart mode, aren't I? I'm covering for Greg. For the so I, there was an app available which I downloaded which did the translation and basically you, you press the button on the phone and then follow the same button on the app and then you could actually navigate through the menus which it kind of worked, it kind of gave me an idea of, I had to pay for this app, it was 80p, <laughs> it, it kind of worked, it gave me an idea but I just thought well I can't be doing that, it's, it's just too cumbersome so I did a little bit more research and found that if you download the Yami Market app onto your Android phone and then you install install the Yami Market. You can then go and search for something called Me PTT. Now Me PTT will actually control the radio through Bluetooth. So I, I downloaded the Me PTT app. Uh, you have to set your phone so you can install software from third parties, and then installed it, and then turned the radio on. Click Search Device, and um, it found the radio to my surprise. And the, the next step to get the get rid of the Chinese menu, put the English one. Uh, I can't show the whole screen for some reason, it didn't capture it. Um, but it does a firmware upgrade. This is it doing the firmware update. Uh, it, uh, it was something that was plaguing this radio for quite a long time. It's been actually out since May of last year. And it, this is only fairly recently that the, the English language has been available. Otherwise, a lot of people probably wouldn't have touched it without been able to uh, navigate through the, lang the menus in English. Anyway, it did the successful update, firmware update success, and um, straight away without doing anything, the radio comes up in English, which is great. Um, so you can see through all the features of the menu there of what it will do. Um, I I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail with these, but basically there's, there's 20 uh, preset channels, another 20 what they call amateur channels, and then there are 20 custom channels which you can program and 20 repeater channels where you can put your repeaters in there with the splits and your tones. So basically there are 40 channels. Now what I'm doing here, I'm actually changing the channels on the phone and it's changing them on the radio which is quite nice. So you can do controls from the phone and it'll control the radio at the same time which is really nice. It will actually send the GPS coordinates from your phone to the radio um, so you can actually then go in groups together and see each other on the, on the screen as a little dot which might be quite useful 
if you're navigating around and doing stuff outdoors. Um, there's some other settings on the radio, fast teaming, which I haven't got another radio, but I guess that's a similar thing. We, and then hands-free call, which you'd obviously use with a um, headset microphone. Um, and then the levels. I, I've not tried that, but I assume that that works okay. And in the advanced features, there's a few other bits. Uh, the dual watch mode, you can set that to monitor two frequencies at the same time. This radio here is dual band, it does VHF and UHF. Um, some settings in the transceiving side of things, which uh, it, it gives you various options, busy channel lockout, timeout timer, squelch shovel, the, the usual stuff. I su the radio comes with the Roger Bleep and Tail Tone on, I suggest you take them off, they can be a bit annoying. Uh, you won't be able to use these radios on PMR because the frequency steps are 25 kc, so you're, you're not going to get onto PMR with these radios unless they change the firmware. Um, yeah, so it's, it's basically got very similar settings to what you find in other radios, but obviously this is definitely not based on the um, the Baofeng uh, UV5R menu. This is a, a very bespoke uh, uh, a software, if you like, for a radio. This so um, it's, it's fully featured. It's a really nice, clear display as well. Again, this radio was thirty pounds. Like I said, it's thirty pounds delivered to the UK, and I think it probably represents one of the best value for money radios that I've tested. Um, I certainly don't think I've, I've come across anything that's come got this level of sophistication in terms of software and connectivity than, than this radio. So um, overall, I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, I, this gives you some idea of what what you ha what you get on the menu with this radio. Anyway, I, I mean, it um, it's certainly a, a major bonus that you can uh, that you can actually uh, get the, the English language for the menu now. Um, the amateur channels are probably not something that you'll be able to play too much with, um, but there's certainly the custom channels at 20 and the repeater channels at 20 is enough for for most of us. I think 40 40 memory slots for for uh, a radio that probably wouldn't be your daily driver, but it's um, it's certainly as I discussed a little bit later on a radio that um, might encourage. Um, uh, your other half, uh, uh, the people of the more feminine variety if you like to get involved because it looks a little bit more appealing than a sort of rugged black radio. Um, volume just um, puts a nice little graphic on the screen as it goes up and down, a really nice output, doesn't over distort at the top end either which is nice unlike some of the, the cheaper radios that do that. Um, power, this is amazing, look on paper it's only supposed to do half a watt on UHF, that's 0.75 watts, so it's actually over. I've never had that with the Chinese radio. And VHF, two watts, exactly what it says it will do. So it's the first Chinese radio that's actually done what it says on the tin. I must be mad, I'm here again, here in the snow. Here we are in March, middle of March, and uh, in the UK, and we've still got snow. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about that, really. Okay, let's um, let's test this little radio. It's as white as the snow, actually. It matches it nicely, doesn't it? Um, we'll, we'll test this radio at the two locations. I'm expecting it to be fairly reasonable, actually, considering the, the power output of this thing. And so uh, let's give it the usual test. Location A and location B. Hopefully location B will be okay. We'll be able to get there. Uh, we'll see anyway. All right, this is really cold. Let's try this. This is G7LNK portable. G7LNK portable. Testing the Yaomi phone, the Yaomi walkie-talkie. Location A, approximately three miles. Testing UHF five four three two one one two three four five UHF test. This is G seven LNK portable Golf seven Lima November kilo portable. Testing the Yami walkie talkie at location A, approximately three miles. UHF test about point point seven five watts power. One two three four five five four three two one. Right, hopefully that was a good test. Um, we'll motor off to location B now. Uh, it's absolutely freezing. I can only stand out there for about, I don't know, about a minute before my hands start to freeze. I mean, it's minus two on the... <laughs> other people in other countries in Canada will go, oh, really? It's positively balmy. But uh, for us softies in the UK, it's a bit cold. So uh, anyway, let's take this, I have to say, brilliant radio. White radio in the white snow over to location B and check it out and see what it does for us. Yeah, I think... I think you guys are going to be quite impressed with one of these when you get one. 
Um, it won't program on the PMR frequencies obviously because of the step, because it will only do 25 kilohertz. I can't see any way of changing that. Uh, so unless they upgrade it in the firmware, it's not one that you can use on PMR or FRS. Um, but you, if you're a radio ham, it's certainly one, I think, particularly if you want to try and encourage your other half into it, because it's a much more, um, a much more uh, appealing radio, I guess, and because of its aesthetics, its styling, it might appeal more to, the, to your other half. So if she's, uh, if she's keen, you know, wave that in front of her. You know, you haven't got to look like you're a commando on an exercise. You can just look like you've got a bit of a strange early iPhone with an antenna. <laughs> anyway. That's enough from me, let's get to site, we're almost there. This is G7 LNK Portable Golf. 7 Lima, November Kilo Portable, testing the Yami Mi, the Yami Mi radio at location B, approximately 6 miles, testing 54321, 12345. This is G7 LNK Portable, testing the Yami Mi, the Yami Mi Mia radio at location B, 12345, 54321. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Right, we're here on UHF, UHF. This is G7 LNK Portable, Golf 7 Lima November Kilo Portable with the Yaomi Mia Walkie Talkie at location B, approximately six miles. Testing 54321-12345. This is G7 LNK Portable, Golf 7 Lima November Kilo Portable testing the Yaomi Mia Walkie Talkie, location B, Approximately six miles, and the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Well, um, I think this is great. I hope you've enjoyed the test of this uh, radio. This is um, one of the first radios that I've had where, that I've been able to connect my mobile phone to and actually work. Um, Bluetooth connectivity, absolutely faultless once you get the app installed. And you can configure and play around with the radio as much as you like. Um, you can name the channels, which is something you can't do on the radio directly. You can update the firmware. Um, you know, get the latest firmware on there to get rid of the Chinese language problem. Um, I mean, all in, this is just absolutely great. Um, I can't actually fault it in any way, shape or form. Um, the battery must be hidden in the back there somewhere. Um, but I'm, I'm not too worried. I'm sure battery life isn't going to be a problem for this unit. Um, I'm so I'm so uh, impressed with it. I'm actually going to purchase another one. Um, I'm going to get another, a couple of these uh, set up. Like I say, not really much use for PMR because of the lack of 12 and a half kc um, step adjustment on the radio. But um, if you're a radio ham, it's not a problem because you can use these uh, uh, VHF or UHF across the band with absolutely no problems. Um, it's got. Um, banks of memory channels there's four sets of memory channels some presets and then obviously there's 20 that you can configure for your own use and then there's 20 repeaters that you can add in for your own use so let's say 40 um, uh, customizable channel slots that you can you can put in and I think for most of us that would be be enough um, at 30 pounds delivered to the UK this is an absolute bargain and like I said on the way over here the the first radio that I've ever had that actually transmits the power it says on the actual box um, 2 watts at VHF and it's the first radio out of all of them uh, that I've tested apart from obviously Yaesu and Icom which actually do which actually does transmit the actual power it says. Um, I question some of these other cheaper power meters people use to test the power of these radios, these Chinese radios. Um, I know that the meter I use on all these tests is very, very accurate, and I test it against my Yaesu equipment regularly, and they're spot on. So I do question some of the accuracy of those cheaper meters, but this actually does do what it says on the tin. So if you're after a really, a really nice looking, well made, very well priced, 
very well spec radio you can connect it to your phone you can use in groups you can use the locator function if you're out in the wild there and see you can uh, see each other as a little dot on the screen and see if you're, you're near each other or whatever that might be good fun or something to do um then go for it i, I can't see why you wouldn't want one of these Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it there. It's been quite a long video, but I think a decent radio deserves a decent, decent length video. Um, if you have been watching the channel, thanks ever so much for your continued support. Um, I probably, I've done a lot of videos in a short burst, uh, but they're probably only going to be a little bit more spread out from now on. So I'm, I'm aiming to do roughly one every 10 days, something like that. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this splurge of videos I've put onto YouTube. And thanks ever so much again for joining me. Catch me on the next one. If you have been, thanks for watching. Cheers.